Okay, advent of code day six, starting now. What do we got? Time and distance. The number of ways you can beat the record. Hmm. Can't type. Uh, okay. I see. Come on. Okay, well, that could have gone better. Um, pretty easy day today. Okay, so let's talk about it. <sighs> so what happened here? So we're given uh, these bases, and the question is, how many ways can we win? And we get to make a single decision in the race, which is how fast you want to go. And basically, if you look at what they say, uh, it takes like x seconds to come up to the speed of x, and then you get to go, you know, you get to spend the remaining time t minus x going at x seconds. So the distance you travel is the you know product, 
And the question is just how many values of t are there, you know, so that uh, you go at least this distance. Um, so in, you know, in part one, all the numbers are very small. You just force it. They wanted the product. Fine. Uh, in part two, they say concatenate all the numbers, which took me an embarrassing long time to actually do, uh, and then figure it out. Um, I don't. I mean, the numbers weren't really big enough in part two to force you to do anything different, so I'm not really sure why it got handled that way. Um, probably the numbers should have been bigger to actually force you to do something smart. I mean, you can do smart things. Uh, like, you can probably, what, ternary search over this value? Uh, like, you know, you want to find, like, the maximum of this occurs at t over 2, and then you want to find out how far you can go in either direction so that it's still big enough. Maybe it's a binary search. So anyway, you can do that, but the numbers are just small enough that you can just brute force it. Um, so the hard part is just concatenating the numbers, apparently. Um, yeah, don't want to say much more than that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think part two should have been bigger. Uh, but anyway, brute force, good way of doing it. Um, the nice thing about brute force is that you're less likely to have a bug. Uh, so when in doubt, I think it's nicer to write a simpler solution. And I will leave it there. See you tomorrow.